Our spotlight story tonight is about a Royal City man and his band that were recently nominated for two Latin Grammy Awards. Here's Jeff Chu with the story. Dicen que soy el rey de reyes, que tiene lujos y placeres, que tiene todo lo que quieres, fama, fortuna. Royal City's own Jose Barajas is a bass and guitar player with Los Canarios de Michoacán, a Pasco-based band recently nominated for two Latin Grammy Awards. The band last month traveled to Las Vegas, where all the international stars of the Latin music industry converged for the Latin Grammys ceremony. Los Canarios were nominated for the Best Norteño album, Hoy y Siempre, which the also nominated hit song Todo y Nada can be found. Los Canarios recently drew a crowd of fans that packed Andalus nightclub to capacity in Quincy, one of the band's rare performances in Grant County. Jose recalled growing up in Royal City where he made his original mark at the high school, not on the stage, but on the mat. Wrestled for Royal City, uh, was a state champ actually in wrestling, so it's another one of my passions. And uh, from there I went to college to go wrestle in Yakima. Came back to Moses, did some cage fighting. A little bit different, did some union painting. Uh, then I started doing this and music, so. But music was always a part of his family growing up in Royal City. Our family, we all started, at, we had a group as little kids. Um, my uncles and my parents, they like to get together, have some refreshments, some drinks. And uh, they, they liked music, so they started with guitar and a piano and from then they started learning and uh, they had us kids learn. And uh, we were playing at, at the school, at Royal, at the elementary as little kids. It was the path that led Jose to Los Canarios six years ago. They called my cousin that used to be in the band and he went to go try out for, uh, to be the, the lead vocalist. And he told them, hey, well, I have a cousin that plays the bass. He said it was a thrill of a lifetime for the band to be nominated for two Grammys. It was exciting, very, very exciting, and still, it didn't hit us till we were actually there in Vegas at, at the Lion Grammys. Like, I didn't, I was like, okay, this is awesome. Once I got there and I saw how much of a, it was, it's a big deal being there. Only the top, top people are there, top musicians, top composers. So it was an awesome experience. So. While he always calls Grant County home with his wife, children, and the rest of the Barajas family living here, Los Canarios are going places. We tour all over the United States, and uh, we've taken two years of not going to Mexico, but I think this coming year we're going to start going back there and touring, so going international. and We have future plans to go to Chile, to go to Honduras, Paraguay. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We will be right back after this.